Hey everybody, welcome back to the Clinical Trials Guru. I am interviewing, I'm doing a closeout visit today as a CRA. I'm interviewing a CCRC, Rebecca. She started as a medical assistant. Now she's a certified clinical research coordinator. Future doctor, maybe future nurse, we don't know yet. We're gonna follow up with her later. But we just wanted to talk to an actual CCRC to get her take on how she got started and then what are some of the challenges that she deals with on a day-to-day -day basis and then where she sees herself going forward. So Rebecca, thank you very much for coming on doing this video. By the way, very good coordinator. This is now my 12th monitoring visit at this site. Action items always done. This is the one where I was telling you action items uh, get, get resolved when I first show up at IMVs. You know, I was impressed, so impressed with this coordinator. So thank you, Rebecca. How did you get started in research? How does one even do that? I don't know how everyone does it. Mine just happened to fall into research. So I've always wanted to be in the medical field, but didn't know exactly where I wanted to go. So I decided to go into a vocational school for medical assisting. And you go through their course of about 10 months of learning what it is to be a medical assistant. And then you do your externship, which is kind of like an internship. Yep. Um, and you have to do certain hours at your different facilities. So they have urgent cares, they have regular doctor's offices, um, but ours happened to be at this research place with Sorrentis. And did you know anything about research before? No, I did not. So, so when you heard of research, I'm going, to, I'm going to extern at a research company, what did you think? I didn't know what to think. It sounded I didn't know weird, what to expect. right? Yeah, they don't teach anything about research in school in general or even in those vocational schools because it's unheard of of a medical assistant going into a research place and then becoming a, a coordinator. So did you think like you're going to join a place where there's all these experiments going on and like yes. test tubes and stuff? So with research, I thought it's the same as everybody does in terms of like, oh, we have guinea pigs or um, this big lab facility where all they're doing is just testing on mice and rats and yeah. um, different things. So I wasn't really expecting what we came in um, but once we actually started coming in and seeing how everything was going on with collecting the data seeing the patients on a day-to-day -day basis it was something that was very interesting good and then so you just slowly gradually started doing things at the clinic right like uh, I imagine because you were an MA you were drawing blood yes processing labs things like that right uh, drawing blood processing labs vitals on the patients because every visit requires subjects to have vitals um, and then I was at the front desk for about a year so I would do front desk, draw blood, vitals, um, see Dr. Duffy's private patients which needed vitals as well and then little by little they started adding um, me to help uh, um, was it pre-screening? Yeah. Not well. I did a lot of pre-screening over the phone at the front desk, so that's how I started getting more accustomed to Alzheimer's. Yeah. Because we have our own little questionnaire sheet that we ask, so I would always be on the phone trying to recruit patients for those studies. So that's how I started picking up on certain things, and then also shadowing the other coordinators that were already there and started picking up. So just Honestly. gradually learning and learn. Was the first study I was monitoring your first study? No. Okay. So one of uh, my first studies was actually an Alzheimer's study. Okay. So it was a phase three, I believe. It was AZT daybreak. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was one of my first studies by myself as a coordinator. Um, but I did um, help other coordinators with their studies, like for acne. Um, we had another one for lipo. Because really they're like multi therapeutic yeah. now too. So gradually, you just what was that period of time from externship till you started being a full time coordinator it, at the site? Uh, I want to say six years to I mean six years, sorry, six months oh, to a year. Say, you scared <laughs> no. a bunch of people. I know. Okay, six months, guys. Six months relax. to a year. Okay. Um, so while I was at the front desk, I started picking up on more of the terminology with Alzheimer's. So they started seeing that and they thought that I was capable of handling a little bit more complicated studies. Yeah. So within like the six month to a year is when we transitioned where I was still at the front desk but still helping other people with their Alzheimer's studies as well. And then you became a CCRC. 
like the minute you were qualified for it, right? Like yeah. two years? Three years. Three years now. Yeah. But that's with the ACRP. We're not affiliated at all. I wish we were. Was that hard? Yes. It was. You passed the first time? Yes. So it was the most difficult test I've taken so far. Um, it was a lot of studying for about, I want to say like three months. Um, because I was in research for three years and majority of the people who take that test have been in research for 10 years or 10 more. Years. So, Do you think you in, had to study for that or could you have just passed it if you've just done studies? Um, you would, I would suggest to study because majority of the test is more about um, following all the ICH guidelines for research okay. um, and then just knowing how to apply them. That's the biggest thing is you can read all the guidelines that are needed, but being able to actually apply it in certain situations is when you know exactly what is the correct way to do things. So if you are taking a test, read up on it, but also know how to understand it and know how to apply it. Yeah. Now, as we wrap up, what are some day-to-day, -day, what's a typical day for you as a coordinator? I know every day is different, probably, but what's a typical day? Typical day, well, I'm also a rater as well. Oh, you're doing yeah. rating now. <laughs> so, That's yeah. new. I started doing okay. ratings, I believe. Uh, well, I've been with the company for about four years now. So you're sub-investigator now. I'm sub-investigator. See, <laughs> from extern to sub-investigator in two years. Yeah. Right? It's possible, guys. Just have faith. Yes. Okay, so, so a typical day for you really is to be, be anything. It would be ratings, um, seeing patients on a day-to-day -day basis. We practically see patients every day. Um, my workload is a little bit different from everybody else. You deal with monitors like me every day? Or yeah, no? not every day. Um, we Every like couple of months, we do deal with monitors. Okay. They don't come so often. Okay. Um, but... Uh, setting up for infusions since we we do and we yeah. are a site that conducts yeah. infusions. So setting up infusions, seeing our patients, taking vitals, um, and just keeping up with all of the work that has to be done. Entering EDC, completing your charts. So coordinator is a great career. Yes. And for you, it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now let them know. I always tell them the most important thing is just get started anywhere you can in research if you want a career here. You agree? Yes, I agree. Any, any way you can, okay? Intern, doesn't matter. Look, she was an intern that was just answering phones and drawing blood, and now she's sub -eye. So, in two years? Three. Yeah, three. two, three, three max. Let's call it three. We're going to be accurate. And the ACRP certified. So, thank you very much, Rebecca. Uh, sky's the limit, like Judith said. I don't know what she said. Something about sky's the limit. What did you say, Judith? Beginning. Sky's the beginning, she said. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We'll do an interview with her too. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.